and WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. We're going to be on Facebook Live. In fact, we are on Facebook Live right now with Jeff Wacker, the IUP Community Music School. And we get a chance to visit with Jeff every once in a while and catch up on some of the developments there. Good morning. Good morning to you. So Outer Banks, how, soon, how long ago? Uh, I've spent the last week down the Outer Banks. Yeah. A nice air-conditioned unit and then came home yesterday to the 120-year-old house that has no air conditioning and Oh, my goodness. It um, was a little rough last night. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Outer Banks air. Here, uh, no air. 90 degrees both places. Okay. Uh, actually, it was cooler there than it is here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was low that? 80s there. It was beautiful. How about that? Well, here you are. Yes. And the IUP Community Music School is getting set up for another summer? That is correct. And and the reason I wanted to come on is I've gotten a lot of comments, both email and phone, and just in conversation from folks who uh, say, I didn't know you guys gave summer lessons. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, the only time that we aren't giving lessons is the week between Christmas and New Year's. Really? That's it. Wow. Other than that, it's it's year round. Now we don't always have every instrument available mm -hmm. um, over the summer. There may be a few instruments. Uh, those those darn undergraduates have this tendency to go home and <laughs> and, and take a summer job and work. But yeah. for the most part, we do have most instruments available, and we're giving lessons year round. One of the great things about the IUP Community Music School to me is the fact that you do incorporate IUP undergrad students as the instructors. Absolutely. It's, it's such a great opportunity for them to get some teaching experience and then also for people in the community to have a really very affordable lesson from someone who's just about ready to go out and be a music educator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So that works great. It really does. It really does. So we're talking practically any instrument. Pretty much. Uh, even bagpipes. Yeah. Ukulele, guitar. In fact, all, pretty much the fretted instruments, all the wind instruments, whether it's brass or woodwinds, piano, voice, percussion. Mm -hmm. We do literally every instrument except the main string instruments, the violin, viola, the cello, and the string bass. Uh -huh. And those are done through the IUP String Project, which is a separate program from the Community Music School. Okay, so there's even education available there, but just not through Community Music yeah. School. It, so we cover everything through the two different programs, most of the instruments through the Community Music School, and then the String Project through uh, the String Project. <laughs> so how does it run? Uh, do classes begin on a specific date and then go forward from there? Or is it one of those free-form, open type of deals? It's kind of a combination of both, okay. actually. And the reason is I'm trying to make it as flexible for people as possible uh, so they don't feel like, oh, I missed the beginning of the semester. I have to wait till the next semester. They don't. Mm -hmm. So the way I do it is I have three main semesters. I've got fall, which begins on a specific date, spring, and summer. And each one has that date that it officially starts. But then we have time in between each semester. And that's used for makeup lessons. It's used for additional lessons. Mm -hmm. And the only requirement um, for the fall and the spring is that kids sign up for at least seven lessons. And that's just simply because I figured they should give it a try with at least seven lessons. Sure. That's half a semester. And in the summer, it's even more flexible. We, re do, we reduce the registration fee mm -hmm. uh, for the summer. And you only have to sign up for five lessons because it's a 10-week semester in the summer. Yeah. Now, you said kids. I did say kids. Freudian. Big, big kids, too. Big kids, too. Older kids. <laughs> sure. Like adults. Like adults. Yeah, anybody can take these lessons. We, we have any number of adults who take, who take lessons. There's a guy locally who's a, a piano tuner. Um, strangely enough, I had his daughter as a music student when I taught briefly in Marion Center. Mm -hmm. But he takes piano lessons. Yeah. Yeah. And he's been tuning pianos for all these years. All these years he's been tuning pianos and then he decides he wants to take some piano lessons too and he's been a regular for gosh close to 2 years now. Yeah. And he can tell you if your piano's out of tune too. It, yes, he can. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have a guy who for briefly came down from almost Erie oh, yeah? and was taking he was taking oboe lessons mm -hmm. and organ lessons. He was in his late 60s. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? And you say to yourself, well, because I know from my wife played oboe, 
uh, that's not an easy instrument to play. You have to be dedicated to that. Uh, you do. I, I can remember as a music education major, I, w- I took double reeds class where you, mm. you learned both the oboe and the bassoon. And as a brass player, I can remember trying to blow air in the oboe and thinking my head was going to explode. <laughs> it's tough. Jeff Wacker is with us, IUP Community Music School, getting set for the summer season. Uh, and in fact, uh, rolling up right along already, aren't you? It's amazing how quickly you go from one semester into the next. Uh, it seems like a blink of an eye. We were in the middle of spring. Suddenly, spring is done, and we're almost through our little break period, about mm-hmm. three weeks between semesters. And next Monday kicks off our, our summer semester. So it just, blink of an eye, flies. Somebody wants to become involved and learn how to play an instrument. Um, what do they need to do? They can contact us a couple different ways. Uh, they can get on the website, and it's just iup.edu slash community music, and that's all one word. They can email me at community hyphen music at iup.edu, mm-hmm. um, or they can give us a call, 357, uh, actually 724 357 2787. That will get, that's the Lively Arts number, and that gets you to me. And I'm happy to help out any way to get you set up with the right instructor. I've got those undergrads available. We also have our teaching artists available who already have a degree in music. Mm-hmm. And if you want to go big, you know, go big or go home, <laughs> you can uh, study with an IEP faculty member too okay. as well. All right. So all of that. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I seem to recall that uh, there's an opportunity for playing as a group. Yes. There is. We we give that a rest in the summertime. Okay. Although the, we've, we've started some conversations with a few of the faculty members about what it might look like and what we might put together mm-hmm. as possibly a summer concert band, whether it be maybe just one performance around the 4th of July. Could it be a couple? Would it be a series? We're starting that conversation. Uh, for right now, though, the, the choir, the adult choir, Uh, meets in the fall and the spring, as does the adult band Uh and our Crimson Youth Choir as well. All of those are the main semesters of fall and spring, and then everybody sort of retools over the summer and gets set up for the fall. You know, that's interesting that you you put it that way because, uh, you know, when you said voice, um, probably people thought, okay, that's training solo uh, in order to become a solo artist. But uh, you just said choir, so you can actually become a... Absolutely. Take lessons in choir. E- exactly. And, and we've actually had several people, they'll study with a teacher privately, and they're, so they're getting that one-on-one training, mm-hmm. but then they'll also sing in one of the choirs. They'll do both, and they can sort of apply what they learn in their private lesson, and they take that into the choir. Jeff Wacker is with us, the IUP Community Music School. How many years is this? For, for the we are in just finishing our fifth year. Is that right? Uh, we are going to be in year number six this fall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's amazing. And, and when you think back to when the program began and you weren't quite sure how it would go over, well, give me an idea. How has it gone over? Well, if we want to look at numbers, mm-hmm. uh, it has not quite doubled. Wow. That's a lot. Of, I mean, when Jane Potter Bomber started it, she took, she took it for one year. And the numbers were at a certain point, and then I took over as she moved on. And at this point, we went from maybe 120 or so students um, to almost 200. Yeah, that's a lot of students a per lot semester. Of, a lot of yeah, just a tremendous amount of people who are interested in music and in music performance. Uh, and absolutely, you know, starting off their children uh, is one thing. Maybe helping youngsters who have begun to take instrument uh, and maybe have begun to wane. I would yep. I would guess that they're all along the spectrum, all the way up to the the guy who has said, "All my life I wanted to play guitar, but I just haven't had the time to take lessons and learn how to do it." I, I well, I just mentioned when I was in the Outer Banks. Uh, there's a voicemail, and I got back in the office this morning from a guy who said, "Yeah, I haven't picked up the trumpet in about." Oh, 40 years, but I'd like to pick it up and try again, <laughs> yeah. you know, and, and that happens all the time. Yeah, my, my friend uh, played trumpet in school, and the other day, uh, I, he was talking, he, he said, I lost my lip. <laughs> yeah. he, he, he's afraid he's lost his lip, and he, he wouldn't be able to play the trumpet anymore. If, he picked, if someone gave him yep. a trumpet, he wouldn't know what to do with it. We can help him find his lip. Yeah, we are lip go. detectives. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're five minutes away from the top of the hour. So the community music school is thriving, I would say, with numbers such as that. It is. It, yeah. it really is. It, the, the response from, from you know, the Indiana community has been tremendous. But we have people who are coming down from Punxsy, from Johnstown, Salzburg, mm-hmm. uh, really the outlying areas coming into the university. And it gives a nice... Uh, a nice feel with both the university and the community interacting that way. And it's really the common denominator is music. It's the wonderful power of music. Yeah. And uh, people want to know about cost. You mentioned it's a, it's a much lower cost than you might get in a private lesson scenario outside of the community music school. We try to keep the cost absolutely as, as affordable as possible because what's the point of offering lessons if people can't afford it. Mm-hmm. And judging by the numbers having gone up so high, I'd say it's that's very it's very affordable. And we're keeping those numbers right where they are. They're not going up. Uh, we keep working hard to make sure that as many people as possible can enjoy a $12.50 for a 30-minute lesson with someone who's almost a music educator is a, is a great deal. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, so it's iup.edu slash community music. Correct. There you go. Jeff, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for having me. My pleasure. My pleasure. You can come by anytime. We talk music here on Indiana in the morning. 8.57 almost. We're about three minutes away from the top of the hour. And it's Indiana in the morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160.